Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about the DICP using DICP Select Global. And in our previous video, we will learn we learn about DICP using Interface Select, where we create uh, IP pool inside the uh, interface. Now we will create the pool in out outside, and then some parameter, and then we will go to interface, and then access that pool. So uh, this is a DCP global uh, pool select where we create pool so let's see how to create pool so first of all we will go to system view and uh, first of all we enable DCP DCP enable JCP enable now we will create a pool IP pool outside we are not any inside any interface we are outside so first of all we will create pool IP pool 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 name I will give the pool name as LAN so pool name now we will configure some parameters in pool first of all the parameter is the what is the network in this pool contains so we will uh, create network network is 192.168.1.0's network and mask of network maybe it, it can be subnet or any other so we should clarify the mask uh, 0 so mask now we will select the gateway which of the this network ip should be the gateway for this interface so now now we will uh, configure gateway so gateway gateway list is 192.168.1.1 the first ip should be the gateway and now we will configure dns if you question mark here you see the all command and other parameters uh, you can configure so now we will configure here the exclude ip address and uh, we already configured gateway list so now we will configure dns dns list uh, dns so now uh, dns list should be 9.9.9.9 .9 or any other and the least time the least time should be uh, one day by day one day one it's the by default time of Huawei devices one day least time the least time where you get the IP address from the DHCP server and you use it for one day the same IP address after that you have to return back that same IP address and take any other IP address if you want to use the same IP address so you can increase the least time so here the least time is one day by default uh, Huawei devices time so we configure all the parameters least time DNS and others now we will quit and go inside the interface interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 now we will give here the gateway which we select there the gateway was 192 168 1.1 and 24 subnet mask now now just uh, like in previous video in uh, DHCP select interface now we will select here global so command e DHCP select here you question mark so there are three so in our previous video we did interface in this video we will set global the global pool which we create now, now this will automatically access that global pool which we create outside so it's create now we will go to uh, PCs and here we will select DHCP and now I P config so look how DHCP server here the global uh, interface access the global and take the IP and give the IP to PC so this IP given by DHCP to this PC and for this PC the to wait the ip address is ip config sorry ip config for this pc is 253 for that pc now we will ping the gateway ping 192.168.1.1 so gateway is pinging now we will ping the pc1 the pc1 is ip address is uh, ping 192.168.1.254 so it's pinging it means that we have created the pool it's working so in global mode we create pool first and then we go inside the interface and access that pool but 
if you use interface select so you have to go first in interface and then interface select and then some the parameters that we configure in global pool that's how gcp global pool works so if you have any question you can ask in comments so see you in next video thank you very much